Hey guys, it's Sally from Who's the Mummy and I'm here with Flea. We're having a dinner on Sunday night. Um, now, I don't know what dinner's like in your house, but it was all a bit last minute. I've just got back from swimming. Flea's just got back from a weekend with her dad and we wanted a really quick dinner. So we're having some pasta bolognese made with dolmia. And the reason that we're making this video is talking about keeping your dinner table tech free. So if your kids are anything like Flea, um, they're permanently attached to their iPhones, their iPads, it's Pokemon Go all the time. They always stay, don't they? They never actually go. We do have a tech free dinner table in our house. So we're going to share with you our favorite things that we do over dinner to keep it tech free. Now, one thing that we don't do is have really long conversations about how was your day? Because generally, Flea's response to that is that she can pretty much remember what she had for lunch, but everything else has been forgotten. I can't remember who I played with. I can't remember what lessons there were. I can't remember if I had a good day. Was anything good or bad? It was all fine. It was fine. So instead, over the years, we've evolved some family games that we play over dinner, and we're going to share them with you now. Okay. Um, so game number one is the country game. Now, a way to play the country game is one person says a country, then the other person has to say um, one that starts with the ending letter. So I might say Greece. Egypt. Thailand. Denmark. Kentucky. Doop. Doop. What? Doop. What? Doop. What? You can't stop. No. Kazakhstan. Game number two that we like to play over dinner is what we call the quiz game. So what we do is each of us are expert in like really not highbrow things at all. Like Flea pretty much knows everything there is to know about modern family, or so she thinks. And I know everything there is to know about Dawson's Creek. So we will take turns asking each other 10 questions and whoever gets the most points is the winner. The next game is a bunch of stuff on paper, which is called Draw the Movie. So basically, Draw the Movie is you have to draw a movie and the other person has to guess it. Pretty simple. These are ones that we did uh, last week over dinner and they're my excellent drawings. I can't 100% remember what number one was. The next game is called Tell Me About Your Day, which sounds like an ordinary small talk question. Not so. But it is not. <laughs> um, so Tell Me About Your Day is, if I ask, um, tell me about your day, then I send a letter like E or D or F or G or... I forgot how the alphabet works. I know some letters. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's do an example round. Tell me about your day, S. Today, I went to the pool and did some exercise in the water. Then I went to somewhere that's a bit like- You said somewhere! <laughs> okay. So the fifth game that we're going to tell you about tonight that we play is a game that we call Categories, which is really stupidly pointless. Um, if you're the kind of people that like to argue, you're going to argue when you play this game. So each person takes turn in choosing something that they think they can think of the most examples of. And then you take turns. So it might be um, TV shows about detectives, or it might be video games with aliens in or it might be foods that have tomato or crisp flavours. <gasps> Simple dolmio. Ah, oh, very nice. Get it? Now, there is a time limit to categories because otherwise just sit there forever while Flea thinks of something completely random. Hey. Sorry. So after five seconds you're allowed to do the timer and we do have a special official timer which sounds like this. Ready? Unofficial. It's so <laughs> so the unofficial timer. <gasps> hmm. Sweet. Far too broad. Now right now. Um. Types of chocolate. Chocolate bars first. Candy bars. No chocolate bars. 
same thing. It's not the same thing. Fine, chocolate bars. Chocolate bars. Okay, ready? Mars. Oh, Snickers. Twix. Payday. Drifter. There's this regular arrow. <laughs> yeah. And then there's mint arrow. Those are two well, separate bars. Well, what's regular arrow then? Arrow. What? Not chocolate <laughs> arrow. <laughs> So, and thank you for watching our video on how to keep your table tech free. Make sure you slap that like button and subscribe. Leave in the comments if there's a chocolate bar that we forgot. Um, we just remembered Bounty, so <sighs> don't do that. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye!